Let's talk about something's happened in the telecom field in the past month. For wireless communication system, here is the block diagram of the wireless communication system. Basically, it has four parts, baseband, transceiver, RF front end, and antenna, or antenna array dot in the baseband, digital signals are generated. The transceiver mainly converts the digital signal to an analog signal and may also upconvert the analog signal frequency. The analog signals are further processed in the RF front end channels. The main function of the RF front end is magnitude adjustment. Signal amplitude is adjusted by some amplifiers and attenuators, such as low noise amplifier, driver, power amplifier, filter, and digital step attenuator. The amplified signal is sent to the antenna or antenna array and radiated into the air. Currently, some companies integrate the baseband and transceiver into a single chip, such as analog devices, which provides the transceiver and transceivers integrated into the baseband. There are several main players in the RF front end, such as RF360, Skyworks, Corvo, Broadcom. Corvo completed the acquisition of AnakeyWave by the end of January, and the combination of these two companies is expected by the March quarter. Corvo, a global leader in connectivity and power solutions, acquired AnakeyWave, a prominent supplier of high-performance silicon integrated circuits, ICS, for intelligent active array antennas in DNA, SIPCOM, and 5G applications. When I started my first job as an antenna designer, we use the IC from AnakeyWave to demonstrate beam forming on the antenna array consisting of four elements working at Ka band. For the low Earth orbit satellite communication system, digital beam forming is an essential technology to point the signal to the user on the ground when the satellite is flying fast in orbit. AnakeyWave can provide the necessary beam forming chip for SITCOM and applications. When designing the wireless communication system or the satellite communication system, Lots of simulations are conducted. We use HFSS provided by ONSYS to simulate and optimize the passive components, such as antenna, feeding structure, and footprint. We can also use ONSYS to simulate the thermal performance of the base station. For the baseband signal processor and digital circuit simulation, the tools provided by SNC are frequently used. In January, SNC announced the acquisition of ONSYS. Under the agreement, ONSI's shareholders will receive $197 in cash and 0 0.3450 shares of SNSIC common stock for each ONSI's share, totaling approximately $35 billion. SNSIC EDA technology combined with ONSI simulation and analysis capabilities offer a potent system-focused approach for innovation across industries. SNSIC is good at the digital part, such as CIRDA, PAM4 simulation, and ONSYS is good at the analog part, electromagnetic and thermal field simulation using finite element simulation. The combination of these two companies may help them provide an EDA tool that can do co-simulation, including the digital signal, analog signal, and thermal amount different materials, such as different semiconductors. Considering more and more functions are integrated into a single chip, the chip design will be more complex and more factors need to be considered during the design and simulation procedure. The cost of the design is also increased. More accurate, reliable, and complex simulation is needed during the design procedure to reduce the cost and development cycle.